Hi, welcome to Sky Stars Review. So today I'll be reviewing Fire Cloud by Cod Latte, Let, Cod Late. Okay, whatever. Okay, so I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, but it's okay. So basically, what is Fire Cloud? Fire Cloud is an alternative to, I would say it's an alternative Dropbox, but it's a self hosted. And yeah, we saw open source for the community editions. So you can get it out. Uh, you can see the codes in GitHub. Yep. So, okay. So they are actually uh, enterprise file sharing synchronization, backup and remote access. So basically this video, I'll be showing you how to use this file cloud and how to set up it. So firstly, go to free trial. Okay. And then register to file cloud online or register to file cloud server. Okay. So I get this server. Okay. Because I wanted to show the self-hosted ability, right? Okay. So you just need to click here and then register, fill in your name, email, company, and your phone numbers. Okay, so free for 14 days and up to 20 users. Okay, and let's see their pricing. <clears throat> okay, so this is a self-hosted one. It's a $4.20 per user per month. Okay, so minimum 20 users. So it's a 50 per user per year. Okay, so it's around like 1,000. Okay, so it's around 1,000 US dollar. Okay, and for standard one, it's 10 US, oh, 10 U. 10 US dollar per user per month. Okay, so I would say is the for the pricing wise, it's considered quite high end. But since they are enterprise level software, so yeah, they, they tends to be. But let's see how how it works. Okay, so okay, you can see that a lot of like storage, yeah, comparison. But let's keep this. <clears throat> okay, so this is a dashboard. Okay, so I've tried it for around like the ten uh, eight days at this was a 14 days free trial okay so you can buy it and have questions and all this and i go to download okay i download this window 64 bit for the server download file cloud server downloads and yep and yeah this is a synchronization download synchronization to download this is a how to mount your file cloud data as a drive letter okay this one i'll be showing in this video also this is mobile apps and secure document viewers this is the other box, other downloads like how the add in, add on. Okay, so yeah, okay, so I've just started this one after installing this file cloud server downloads. Just open it, okay. Then I think before that, I think we should test the install check. Okay, it doesn't work, so we should yeah, start it. <clears throat> Take some time, okay. Yeah, um, because it's using a kind of like Zen server, okay, you install Zen things. The file folder names is called Zamp X A M P P. So if you are familiar with it, you know that it's a kind of like a, a virtual, virtual, virtual stuff. Okay, so you can. Uh, I'm using web server to build my WordPress website. So if you have a web server running, you should close it and then run this. Okay, start. If not, you cannot start it, or it will remain um, um the error. Okay, then we start this one the database, and the mem catch. Yeah. Uh, okay, we just start it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, you can see that the introduction, installation requirements. Okay, you can see that all the status is uh, okay, it's good to go. Okay, extended check. Mm, we don't really need that. Okay, but yeah, we don't really need that. Okay, let's go to the admin portal. Okay, for the admin, it's admin password. Yeah, I think it's in the documentation that lists down the, 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 okay, let's go back to the documentation, see what is the password. Can't really remember it. Okay, what do we write? Apache configuration share object. Okay, so there's a no, but this is an extended one for the basic one. We are good to go. Okay, so go to the support documents. Um. Okay, let's go to this. Hmm. Installation requirements. Okay, so we need to find out what's the password. Can't really remember it. So okay, this one the install file cloud. So okay, uh, username admin and admin password is password. Okay, I think I make it correct. Okay, yeah, it's correct. Okay, yeah. So this is the one that you need to set up. Okay, so this is how they teach you. So we just click next. 
the teach you there's a user quota and permissions there's a team folder structure and yeah it is for sure there's a mission and notifications this one is retention i didn't really try it okay secure of our cloud okay audit trial device management broadcast okay so this is a uh, great experience okay simple pricing okay so we don't really set up this one first we follow this part okay go to system okay this block me let's go to system okay system storage okay storage we should um okay, let's check a path mm, okay well let's start from c and d recovery the i think this path is good to go okay, so just put b here check path okay it is correct it's okay so yeah so we should i think we should save it here there's some things you can save here so we click it okay I, I okay so there's a save file here click this save okay and then remove the install file after the installation so yeah i install it in the recovery d d parks okay zem server and then you mentioned go to zem hd doc install okay hd doc okay install okay delete this one okay click let's click okay and then go to setting email okay to set the email reply to address okay so because currently we are using the demo sessions so this one is it works this one works okay and email reply to okay let's simply test it <clears throat> hmm, save it it's my email okay save it okay, actually send it test email okay so now you can see that i will be clicking this one because this is my uh, it's two, two personals so i will click in this you can see that there's a one then yeah this the the email is sent from the from clock okay so this is the part i often see it also yeah but let's do it next yeah i did this one because i didn't upload the the license actually you need to upload the license but let's see okay go to settings server set the valid url okay we are not changing this one yeah okay yeah if you wanted to change to some other server url you can actually change it yourself okay go to settings email okay this is about that to send the to send server email okay demo smtp okay so this one is the demo one okay it's yeah it's enabled during trial so reply to okay so this is my email good to go okay so this one is the linux cron job okay this one um yeah, i'm not i'm not setting it now uh just follow the documentation to say yourself and the joe ip data i'm not setting it also but we can take a look one this one admin and go to enable joe okay you setting okay so this one yeah, to not not, not 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 changing it parts. Okay, now I think I should upload some kind of like a, a okay. Let's try to create one folder first. Team folder is disabled. Go to setting team folder to enable it. Setting team folder. Okay, and everything for the let's one testing thing folder. Okay. Wait, uh testing thing folder, the team folder. Display name team test uh, testing team folder again. Where's the password? Testing one, two, three. Email just okay, just put my password, just put my email, password. Create it. Okay, it shows that it's an invalid license, so yeah. That's what I have expected. I need to upload my license, but I can't really see where to upload it. But well, 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 well. let's find it out. Okay, this one license. Let's come back to this license. Okay, so this license here. Could you download the license?
okay let's set up XML okay so we can just go here and upload our license XML okay so it's updated okay so they'll review we set it again so you can just click next thing type close it okay so go to settings server okay we don't need to set it and the schedule you just need to set it and this one set it okay so now we are testing the team folders setting team folders okay enable it okay team folder we just copy and paste it team folder oh no 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 In order. Mm, testing. Thing. Okay, just passwords. Testing one. Okay, well, testing one, two, three. Email is my email. <coughs> okay, is my screen key working? Okay, good. So we can go go to the team folder. <coughs> okay, we create one folder here. Testing one two three. Okay. Okay. So you can manage the access. Okay. Now we ha have complete the whole setup. Okay. Now we just go to the download. Let me find the files. Okay, this one. Cloud Drive to E setup. Okay. <clears throat> Must be close to install it. Yeah, no, 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 no. We should set up the user user website first. <clears throat> okay, you get a new user. Add a new user, full username, sky up, display name, sky up. Okay, my password testing has been one, two, three. My email. Okay, not sending the email application here. Email is already in use, so okay, just do one, two, three. Let's add user. Okay, our display name is sky up, and password is test. Thing one two three. Let's log in. Okay, so you can see that there is a uh, my files here. Okay, so but this file team folders we there isn't anything inside. Okay, so we can try upload some files here. Maybe just a simply um a small files like um. Yeah, okay, simply just one, one txt. I also don't know why it's this. But I will just send it. Okay, so it's uploaded, right? Let me refresh it again. Okay, so actually you can just ignore this part and see the team folder. Click, 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 click. Okay, then refresh it, this part. I don't think you will show it because you didn't really approve to access it. Okay, so I didn't really approve it. Share this item. Yeah, this one. I need to share it. Allow selected user, invite the user. Kind of like the email. Okay, this one, this guy. I just invite. Okay, I don't need to send the email. Okay, I just. Okay, so you can set the permission here. Okay, allow upload, allow synchronize, do what? Okay, after that, refresh it. It's done. Okay. Okay, you can see that there's a team folder in inside. Yeah, you can see this one. So this is basically how it works for the user and admin. So I'll be doing uh, extra stuff is uh, doing this cloud setup. So basically you can mold it to your drive uh, I have a drive C and D, right? So you can mold it in your drive E. Oh, okay, I click it wrongly. Not this part. This one. 
the drive one. Okay, just close it. I'm not installing this too. Install, install, install. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> Starting CBFS driver install. Okay, launch, launch it. Okay, so what is my server? So I think this one is my server. Okay, my account is Skyyap. Also, it's this thing. One, two, three. More to, uh, let's say, E. Okay, mounting drive. Please wait. Okay, looks like it is. Gone successfully. Okay, yeah, it's mode. And let's check the team folder. Okay, testing one, two, three. And then this is the uh, documents. And yeah, so basically, that is how I use File Cloud and how we can use File Cloud. Actually, I actually I see that it's, like, it's quite good if you wanted to, if you have a lot of like requirements. And you concept about privacy and confidential things, and you are in a very special sectors, then definitely you should use Spark Cloud because you can see that there's a lot of documentation for banking, healthcare, local government, government, and this uh, yeah, very I would say it's a, a regulated sector. Okay, so I think that is it for today. Thank you. Bye.